Ukrainians in Hong Kong are hoping to send supplies of food and other necessities to their homeland. In Ukraine itself, a Hong Kong photographer hopes that his pictures will let the world know more about the crisis. Koh Yi Feng reports. Hong Kong photographer Keru Eng, who arrived in Kyiv last Friday, says he's determined to stay in the Ukrainian capital. I'm not leaving just because of a few bombs. So, so I will I will try and keep myself alive and uh, keep myself able to make some good pictures before I may eventually have to evacuate because of safety reasons. The 35-year-old freelancer says he has not had a chance to sleep since Russia launched the incursion. It is very, very, very shocking to see a direct attack on a capital of 2 million people. It is very, very saddening. As a Hong Kong, I would like to like help them put their voice out to the general world. I think this is what we can do for them. Ong said he was amazed by the courage of the Ukrainians. Even if there's like uh, 100,000 uh, Russian troops at their border, so they were surprisingly calm. The photographer had to scrap plans to go to the southeastern port city of Mariupol when Russian shelling escalated. He will see how the situation develops before deciding on his next move. In Hong Kong, the city's handful of Ukrainians are anxiously monitoring events in their homeland. Victoria, who has been living here for over 25 years, said aside from personal concerns, she's worried about inaccurate reports and propaganda on the Internet. Like her compatriots in the city, she'll be sending money and supplies to her hometown. Chloe Fong, HKIBC.